I'm here in the Postman docs and I want to check if I have any broken links. I can go to each hyperlink, click through, and see what I get. But we can also programmatically check for broken links using Postman and the function Postman set next request. Let's take a look at it in Postman. I have a collection here called link checker consisting of two calls. The first one initializes some variables. If you want to take a look at it, look under the pre-request script tab. And the second call here is going to be doing the heavy lifting. This call is going to check whether or not a URL gets back a successful status code. Let's take a look under the tests tab. This code is pretty well documented, so you can take a look through it. But what I'm going to do is go to row 51. On row 51, I can see an if else block. This says if there's another URL to check, I'm going to set some variables. And on row 59, I see postman set next request. This function is going to command postman to set that the next request. And I can submit a parameter of either the request name. You can see it's check URL. And in fact, it's the same call that contains this code. So I'm going to keep calling the same call until I reach the else block. If I have no more links to check, then I'm going to clear some variables and I'm going to terminate the loop using postman set next request null. So this function is what you're going to use to control your workflow. You can execute all kind of branching and looping logic and postman set next request takes either the name of the call to send next the request ID, or you can terminate the call with null. Let's take a look at what that looks like. I'll select the collection I want to run and open up the runner. So again, it's a baby collection. I expect the initialize to run and initialize some variables. And then I expect check URL to run continuously, recursing on itself until the entire website has been crawled and all the hyperlinks checked. Let's run it. Yep, so we initialized and now we're going down and we're checking all types of different URLs. And I also wrote tests. So if I get back a successful 200 status code, then that'll be a pass test. It'll, and it looks like we have a broken link in the Postman docs. Um, but if I wrote my code correctly, I won't be stuck in an infinite loop continuing to call check URL. But rather, at a certain point, we will have crawled all the pages, checked all the links, and we will bail out of this execution by using postman set next request null. And it looks like we've stopped calling. If you want to check it out, I'll drop a link to this collection uh, and you can get started by looking at the documentation. Okay.